Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Seen you on TikTok and Facebook. Oh, awesome! How oh, great. I was trying to get my son's dad to uh, get you over to check his car out or his car, because like I don't, it makes a funny noise when he takes off. Well, I'd be like, I'd be glad to just let him. I told him. Let him know. All right, so we got front and back brakes. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Where do you hear it most? Uh, it's not, I don't hear it. Oh, you know, it's, you're just being a... Firestone's trying to be an asshole and get $400 something out of me. Oh, yeah. So they're like, uh, no, I'll go. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy. <laughs> well, all right, let me get started here. I got a freaking long day ahead of me. Well, of course, again, we got the 22s, so... Okay guys, here's the deal. So she didn't hear any grinding or anything like that. This is just a routine maintenance. I mean, obviously, you know, she did say that they told her they, it needs brakes, um, in which they're probably correct, but we are about to find out. You just grab this back part and pull up against it. That way it loosens that piston in. Okay. Yep, so she did, in fact, need brakes. Look, and they wore so perfectly. Look at that. We've been having bad luck with freaking brakes lately where one side's wearing. Shoot these. Oh, and this is why, guys. See these guides? Nice and smooth. Okay, well, there's a slight problem. So, here's this pad. Here's our new one. Holy shit. And then these are supposed to be for the rear. Thank you for calling Amazon. This is Karen. How can I help you? Hey, Karen, I had a uh, question for you. I, I just had a customer go in there and she bought some front and rear brakes for her. It was a 2019 Dodge Charger and she had purchased the wrong front brakes. And I was wanting to see if you had the correct ones in stock. So I have two different options, but my other option says with red painted caliper. Or does she have Burnbow brakes? Let me take a look. Okay, so that was out of zone, and they had a confusing question for the customer, and uh, apparently the cat I don't know, the catalog's backwards or something. Anyhow, there it, e it either offers Brembo brakes or Brembo calibers. I'm sorry, or red red painted calibers. That's neither. That's I mean, but. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the back brakes, I'm going to put the fronts together, and then I'm going to go up there um, in case there's like, you know, wires crossing or anything like that. I'm, we might be, we might have to come, we might have to make a second trip out here to do those front brakes. All right, so I have a little bit of faith about this bottom one here. So, these look like they might be the same. Oh, yes, they are. Terrific. And guys, to do this trick, you can either do it from the top or the bottom, but it's super simple. Boom. Just take one bolt out, loosen the other, and then you can just drop it down. All right, but now we got to push this in, so I'm going to pull it back in. God, we're obviously going to grease that up, but because I'm a hard ass, I'm just going to push this bad boy in with my hands. All right, so that should be good. And only do that, obviously, once you clean it up, so. I'll take this bad boy. Slide it right back on in there. All right, so, looks good. Take our new pads here. All right, then we're gonna put this one back. And voila. Same thing over here as we did uh, do over there, but check this out. Looks like her tire had been freaking scraping on that. There's a bit of it right here. See? Dang it. 
Okay guys, so wouldn't you know, they don't have any freaking brakes for that vehicle whatsoever. These are the brakes that they sold us and I could not for the life of me, like we couldn't even find the brakes. So I don't know if she gave me the wrong information on the vehicle, um, but I'm about to go back to the vehicle and double check everything and make sure, I mean, we went through like the police interceptor cars without police interceptor cars. We went the Brembo brakes, we went the red cap, red paint of calibers. We went through the list of individual brake pads. He brought me out probably a dozen different brake pads shout out to AutoZone because they tried they really tried but they actually kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger when i needed them to be a little bit smaller so i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna go double check that vehicle and see make sure that we got all our facts straight and uh we might have to just return these all together and get them get them from somewhere else but i tried that's the big that's the that's what matters the most is i tried well, great news, everybody. So she got the brakes, but guess what? She had to go through the dealership to get them. So I know it's pretty freaking ridiculous. I need to do some a little bit more digging on those vehicles, um, especially on that year and see why that is because I for sure don't want to have another hiccup like this where I have to go to a parts store and we just can't find a part. You know what I mean? Especially something as simple as brakes. But um, I told her, I was just like, go to O'Reilly, you know, because O'Reilly is good people to me. They, uh, you know, they're, I mean, not anything bad about AutoZone, but um, if they don't have the brakes, you know, go to O'Reilly. I like O'Reilly. O'Reilly's good people. And the system that they use, guys, is really, it's really easy to interpret. So it's not, I don't know what kind of system AutoZone uses, but it kind of seemed a little confusing. So, I mean, and there was somebody that was training, helping me. So, I mean, that could have been an issue there. I mean, no, it couldn't have because I had a manager help as well. But anyway, she did get the brakes. She got them from the dealership. So they weren't like crazy, crazy bad. They were really, really freaking low and they for sure absolutely need to be replaced. So we are going to go out there and uh, change those brakes out for her. Um, but here's the deal, guys. I'm extremely busy. So I'm going to have to, it's only going to take me like 20 minutes to do so, but I'm going to have to like basically do it in between jobs because I'm booked up until next week. So but on another note, this is actually the first time I ever had a hiccup like this with brakes, especially. Um, and typically I buy the parts that I'm, you know, repairing on a customer's vehicle. But sometimes it does save me quite a bit of time, guys, if the customer buys the part from the parts store, of course, not online. But if they buy the part uh, from the parts store and then I'm able to just show up there and replace it, awesome. It, it, you know, it's, it is beneficial. It is help, uh, helpful. I am ex an extremely busy guy. But if it was something like, you know, water pump or anything like that, um, typically I would be the one that's purchasing those parts. Um, and it does save the customer money too if they supply the parts. But here's the deal on that. My insurance won't cover any type of warranty replacements on customer supplied parts. So, I mean, basically you're not, my, the, the labor is an insurance. So if the part fails and you know what I mean, my warranty isn't really there. So they are no, they are notified that of that before I ever do any type of repairs with customer supplied parts. It's kind of the, it's kind of the like, hit or miss on if you want to save money and take the risk or if you want to spend the extra money and don't take the risk you know what i mean but this customer for sure helped me out by getting her own brakes and doing her own investigating because i was going to have to do all this today um and find her brakes and stuff and you know like i said i'm a busy guy i got a lot of people to message back and i got a lot of freaking appointments to um you know accommodate for so i'm proud of you so if you're watching this i'm proud of you for getting your own brakes i'm proud of you for finding them and uh much love we'll see you tuesday